Hello everyone, I'm Dong Li, a PhD student from Macan University. Today, I, I will present our work, Robust System Instance Clustering for Large-Scale Web Services. The reliability of web services is of fatal importance. The anomalous behaviors of system instance may degrade the availability of web services, impact user experience, and uh, even lead to economic loss. To proactively detect the anomalous behaviors of system instances and the timely mitigate system failures, operators continuously collect monitoring data from diverse types of metrics, which take the form of multivariate time series. That's shown in this figure. Recently, a collection of size anomaly detection methods have been proposed. Holy, an MPS anomaly detection model has learned the normal patterns of a system instance and determines whether the behaviors of this system instance deviate from the normal patterns. Because web services can have thousands of running containers, virtual machines, and the physical machines, Training an MTS anomaly detection model for each system instance will <coughs> consume a lot of computational resources. This table shows that when the number of system instances reaches 1 million, the accumulated offline training time of some popular approaches ranges from 100 days to several years, which is infeasible. System instance clustering can help us to solve this problem. It is intuitive to group system instances into different clusters, such that these system instances in each cluster have similar novel patterns. Thus, we can train an MTS, a normally detection model for each cluster, instead of each system instance, significantly reducing the tra training overhead, since ideally, the number of clusters is much, much smaller than the number of system instances. Over the years, many clustering methods have been proposed. Traditional clustering methods directly applying clustering algorithms to the original data. There are also algorithms proposed for univariate time series clustering. However, both types of methods are either time-consuming, often effective, and thus can not be applied to MTS directly. Current MTS clustering algorithms are also very time and uh, space consuming. We need a more effective and efficient approach. There are three major challenges lying between us and a good MTS classroom method. First, a large scale web service really contains millions of system instances, each of which has many monitoring methods. Many system instances are monitored in one grain However, current uh, clustering algorithms usually need to consume too many computational resources for such large scale MTS data. Additionally, we need to cluster MTS based on their normal patterns, whereas there are lots of noise and anomalies in them. Some metrics in MTS can be highly correlated, such as CPU related metrics, typically manifest very similar patterns. Moreover, operators usually believe that long periodic metrics are uninformative for MTS clustering and that thus should be removed. Although there is no need to obtain class labels for training an unsupervised MTS clustering model, we still need label data to evaluate the model's performance. It is challenging to label such large scale data without the help of a user friendly tool. To tackle the to, to tackle the above challenges, we propose only cluster, an unsupervised method that can accurately and efficiently cluster system instances for large scale web services. To tackle the first challenge, we apply one dimensional convolutional autoencoder to extract a low dimensional temporal features from each matrix separately, which significantly improves the efficiency and mitigates the interference of noise and anomalies. To address the second challenge, 
we apply the simple yet effective feature selection strategy to select periodic and representative metric to eliminate the impact of redundant and non-periodic features. Finally, we have developed a labeling tool for MDS clustering with a user-friendly interface. The overall architecture of OMI clusters is illustrated in this figure. OMI cluster consists of two major stages, offline clustering and online classification. The offline clustering stage consists of four steps. The first step is pre-processing. OMI cluster on cluster that explain value removal, linear interpolation, data smoothing, and normalization to minimize the negative impacts wrought by noise anomalies and missing values. After that, Omni cluster uses 1D state to reduce the temporal dimension and the capture temporal features. The encoder in 1D state is composed of 1D statements with independent parameters. Each metric in MTS will be input into different 1D settings in the encoder to optimize corresponding features. Omni cluster continuously updates the model by minimizing the construction loss between the input and the output. Then, feature selection is performed to reduce the number of metrics. High dimensional data is converted into low dimensional features through the previous two steps. We perform a three step feature selection process on temporal features extracted by 1D state. In the first step, we use YL algorithm to extract periodic information from features. Features that are non periodic in most system instances will be removed. In the second step, we build a feature redundancy matrix. The redundancy matrix provides a unified picture of each feature positively correlated with a sufficiently large share of input samples. In the third step, we apply a set of feature elimination rules to exploit the information in the redundancy matrix. The rules are applied iteratively. iteratively following a periodic priority order until all features are either selected or discarded. Finally, we use the selected features in hierarchical agglomerative clustering. In the only cluster, hierarchical agglomerative clustering with average linkage is adopted. Hierarchical is a bottom-up approach and can use the threshold of the distance between clusters as a hyperparameter instead of specifying the number of clusters beforehand. Besides, HAC using average linkage that each data in the cluster have an equal effect on the distance between clusters, making the distance measurements as big. HAC can also robustly determine whether a system instance is an outlier by its distance from other data. After offline clustering is completed, OM clusters save the encoder part of the 1D state and the feature subset indices obtained by feature selection. In the online classification stage, OM cluster fits the pre precise data into the encoder and the extract feature subsets according to the saved feature indices. Then we assign class labels to system instances and identify outliers. The centroid of each cluster can represent the general characteristics of the cluster. Omni cluster computes the centroid of each cluster using Euclidean distance. In the online classification stage, we calculate the distance between the newly common data and the each cluster's centroid. The closest the centroid is picked, and the Omni cluster checks whether the distance exceeds a threshold to determine class labels and the outliers. This figure shows the user interface of our labeling tool. It can create new classes, update centroids, and modify class labels. We have conducted extensive experiments to evaluate the performance of OMI cluster. The data set is collected from a top-tier global 
content service provider. Specifically, the original data is seven day long MCL segments collected from 3,175 system instances sampled at an interval of one minute, and each instance has 19 metrics. We adopt two live selected metrics, namely NMI and ACC, to measure the performance of only cluster. In addition, we use F1 score to test the only clusters ability to detect outliers. To demonstrate the effectiveness and efficiency of only clusters, we compare it with four advanced MCS clustering methods. This table shows NMI, NCC, F1 of outlier detection, the number of clusters, and the average time cost of all algorithms. Only clusters NMI and ACC are significantly higher than baseline methods, and only only cluster can identify outliers. In addition, only cluster takes a short time to cluster all system instances, about 15 faster than the fastest baseline method. Only cluster outperforms out all baselines in terms of effectiveness and efficiency. To show the contributions of three key techniques in Omni-Cluster, we reconfigure Omni-Cluster to create four variants. We can see that 1DCA can improve the efficiency of the cluster. Without non periodical feature removal, the data set is grouped into 117 clusters, four times more than the ground Without a redundancy elimination, the NMI and ACC are both lower. This experiment shows that each component in a cluster contributes to the final performance. We have conducted experiments on four key hyperparameters of own cluster. From the experimental results, we claim, we claim own cluster is robust because it is in sensitive to hyperparameters. So working with other data sites, these key hyperparameters used in our experiments may also be The sum of scored error together with the elbow method is used to help home cluster to select the appropriate distance threshold without many works. To prove only cluster is universal to anomaly detection algorithms, we select five detection algorithms to test their performance. From the experimental results, we can draw the following conclusions. Combining with omni cluster, the training time of anomaly detection models is greatly reduced while still, while still achieving satisfactory performance. No, no matter which anomaly detection algorithm is used together with omni cluster, the effects of Omni-Cluster are consistent. Besides, this figure shows that the training time will not significantly increase when the number of system instance in the data site becomes larger. The contributions of Omni-Cluster are somewhat as follows. Omni-Cluster is an efficient and robust algorithm for clustering high-dimensional MTS with noise anomalies and the redundant features. We apply 1DCA to extract temporal features, which not only reduces clustering overhead, but also eliminates the impact of noise and anomalies. We use a three-step feature selection strategy that prevents redundant and non-periodic features from degrading on the cluster's performance. We have published a labeling tool for amplified clustering and labeled data for further studies. Our presentation has ended. Thank you for listening. Okay, awesome talk. Thanks, Dawn. So I, are there any questions? Okay, Dawn, actually I have one question. This is not my research area. But uh, I, I may miss something uh, because your paper is on the robust system instance clustering. 
So in the evaluation, how do you evaluate the robustness? We claim, we claim only cluster is robust because it is insensitive to hyperparameters. Specifically, it achieves high accuracy for various hyperparameters. We invest, investigate four hyperparameters in this paper that may impact only cluster's performance. The experimental results show that our work is is robust to these hyperparameters. Okay, thank you. Gotcha.